Coffee Crisis, a game that hit the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive in 2017. That's right, you heard me correct, 2017. Even though I never would have thought you could purchase a newer Genesis release in even now 2020, Mega Cat Studios has made it possible. And if you're itching to play it and don't have a Genesis, don't worry, because it has also come to the Xbox One, the PC, Nintendo Switch, and now the PlayStation 4. So with this news, I thought to myself, I had to see what this game was all about and give it a review. And I'm glad I did, because we all know nostalgia is a hell of a drug, and this game kind of got me, well, hooked. Also, if you're a younger gamer and have never had a chance to play a classic side-scrolling brawler, now's your chance. In the story, an evil race of aliens called the Smurglins decide to invade Earth. They possess, or as far as I can tell, outright look like your average human. For instance, some are old ladies with walkers, men in business suits, and even old dudes with canes. But there are a few real classic uggo aliens in the bunch as well. The Smurglins have been observing humanity for years and determined the best of mankind is its Wi-Fi, cat videos, metal music, and coffee. But two baristas from the Black Forge Coffee House, Nick and Ashley, just ain't having it. So they decide to take the fight to these crazy Smurglins, making for one of the most twisted, straight metal, and wacky side-scrolling brawlers I have ever played, other than the classic Simpsons from my youth. Honestly, only a bunch of developers hopped up on too much coffee and spending too much time at a coffee house could have come up with a plot like this. Now don't get me wrong, by no means is this a bad thing, because it makes for one humorous story. There's even an appearance from a YouTuber we all know, but I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. When it comes to gameplay, as you know by now, Coffee Crisis is a side-scrolling brawler. Inspired by the many retro classics out there like Streets of Rage and Golden Axe, the game was also designed with cooperative play in mind, so it offers two-player support. And if I had taken advantage of this, it would have made my playthrough a lot easier. But at the time, I didn't have anyone to assist, so I went at it alone. And just like the classic brawlers, I had a blast kicking butt. Now, there were two characters to choose from, either Nick or Ashley, each with their own unique attacks and silly weapon. And although they got the job done, unfortunately at times there was just way too many enemies on the screen at one time, and I often got lost in the fight. It just became rather confusing as to where my character had gone. Also, I found the power attack essentially useless due to it taking down my health every time I executed it and the consistent berating of projectiles became a little overwhelming and annoying too, because it made it just too difficult to fight off the enemies. Lastly, I love nostalgia when it comes to retro indies, but the Coffee Crisis incorporated something that I was happy to see a thing of the past, the password system. It was just an annoying and pointless addition that should have been left out, especially in 2020. Other than these few annoyances, I rather enjoyed the gameplay and its great humor. The gameplay graphics were nothing special when it came to the 16-bit retro indies, but the cutscenes were another story. The devs really put some love into them, and each scene was better than the next. I mean seriously, aliens, coffee, and metal music? What a combination! And now this brings me to the soundtrack, which is my favorite part of the game. I know it sounds silly, but it really is that good, and you can even purchase it separately on the Steam store. Also, with a soundtrack like this, you can easily see why an alien civilization would invade a planet just to join the party. Every soundtrack was metal to the core, a pleasure to listen to, and this is definitely the best soundtrack to any side-scrolling brawler I've ever heard. Now with the release of Coffee Crisis on the PlayStation 4, everyone can finally have a chance to relive the retro side-scrolling brawler or even experience it for the first time. And although I don't think it lived up to the greats like Streets of Rage or Golden Axe, it was a definite worthy attempt. And if you pick this up on sale, this is a great game to pass the time. I'm giving Coffee Crisis a 7 out of 10 for its wonderful nostalgia. Thanks for watching, and if you like our content, 
please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel. Also, remember to check out the BG4GHub.com for everything gaming.